Right here I'm setting up for the child's pose just so I can have a neutral spine. And what this is doing, this is deloading the lower back right here. And I'm doing this just so I can set up for a prone push right here. Which I struggle a lot with this exercise right here because I feel like my nerve is getting pinched every time I do this. So I also base it off this exercise to see how I feel. As you can see, I had to just do it on my elbows. I couldn't do the full push. And right here, I'm starting to feel some irritation uh, going down my left leg. And as you can see, I extend my back, my I mean my neck. And I had to go down because I felt like the nerve was being pinched. I tried going back into the elbow, as you can see from this upcoming clip, but it irritated the nerve, so I had to stop. Right here I'm working on my core so it can stabilize uh, my lower back for it not to move. These exercises allow me to stable my lower back since there shouldn't be a lot of rotation in your lower back and these exercises really help with uh, that stabilization. So as you can see my right leg has a full range of motion but when the disc herniation first happened I couldn't get it higher than this. It was stuck there. But now I can get it pretty higher than what it was before as you can see it's a little higher. And once I start uh, implementing the pumps in my leg I can get it a little bit higher. And I haven't been able to work out legs because I just don't have the full range of motion. And if I did it it's with pain. So right here I start doing the pumps. Is wiggle it a little bit and as you can see I start getting a little bit more range of motion without less pain with less pain with less pain and the next movement I'm gonna try to go a little higher as you can notice from the first uh, leg lift uh, it's already a better range of motion it's almost at a 90 degrees angle and I'm trying to keep my legs straight here there is a slight uh, discomfort but it's a lot better range of motion than the first uh, leg lift right here I'm just stretching my butt muscles just because I know so it can come from sciatica can come from the gluteus muscles the piriformis syndrome but right here I'm just stretching it so I I know just in case there is something in there I can free the nerve up and let it flow freely. Since I do come from a soccer background I always like to run a little bit just to see where I stand. Right here it did irritate my nerve but this is how I'm testing the waters just to see as where I stand right here. It's small 20 yard sprints. So right here, as you can see from my right leg, I can make the full extension all the way up. Um, I can't do this with my left leg without it hurting. It, the sciatic nerve gets irritated by my bulging disc, the L5S1. And as you can see, when I, I got up straight right here, I can't fully extend it. But then you look at my right one and I can. Right here, this is really pushing it. And right here, I start pumping my leg because it eases the motion so I can do the full range of motion. So right here I keep pumping it, pumping it, and then I do, do it one more time so you can see how it got easier.